Hi everybody, Dan here with No Games for Old Men, and welcome back to my Asthma Chronicles. Last episode, we uh, picked up this sweet duster coat for Diggs. And because we are in this robot-controlled city, we, we've got Diggs leading the way here. I want... I uh, kind of want to avoid trouble. And I'm hoping that if if Diggs is in the lead here, that uh, you know maybe the two humans that are behind him are considered his his servants or something, because uh, humans are a subjugated race here. So uh, we are trying to find Hera, who is apparently somebody who can help us find the old foreman. So I think we're headed down this direction into this gloomy green area. This is what happens when you make people live like animals. Wow. This is wrong on so many levels. Really, it doesn't too, look too much different from sedentary. If we're being honest with what each other. There? Chicken? Rat. But it's rotten. Oh. Of course it is. Give it to me. You are not feeding those kids rat. It's either rat or melted rubber, Anna. Don't get all high and mighty on me. <laughs> Oh, man. We'll recognize you as the Alpha Editor, Alphas. You must act as he acts. Sure. Just throw my shoulders back and talk like a dead guy come back to life. Fake it till you make it. Alright, so since we're in a human area, Beautiful we're gonna day. switch back to Elvis to as the leader. You talk to Maxis? Keep your voice down. These bots can hear everything. Okay. You are editors. Hallelujah! <laughs> Thought you were wiped out. I'm happy to see you. Who are you? Colonel T. Sanders. Born and raised in sedentary. Now slowly dying in the DRC. Was a safety tech at the factory for 42 years. Till a robot took my job. But enough about me. What noble quest leads you to my street? This was a factory town. We all worked for the family. Didn't like it. But it was honest pay. Our foreman Maxis, he dared to fight the family. They didn't appreciate that, so they put the machines in charge. We came from sedentary. When did you live there? Oh, a long time ago. Before the miasma got so bad, people traveled back then. I remember the mayor losing his legs to some big razor snake. What was his name? He's still alive, if you can believe that. Or maybe not. We don't know where he is. You know, that's, uh, strange. A few days ago, this bot walked by me. It had a head that looked just like the mayor's. Maybe it was... Maybe it was a dream. I don't know. Yeah, when the mayor disappeared from sedentary, and so did his robot bodyguard, but the robot bodyguard's head was still sitting there on the desk, I wondered if maybe the mayor had popped his own head onto the robot and taken off. We're here to fight the first family, and give America back to the people. Whoa, big plans. You sound like Maxis. <laughs> Don't want to piss in your pot, but that first family ain't going nowhere. They've been here long before we were born. They'll be here long after we're in the dirt. I promise you that. But if anybody's got a chance, it's an editor. Here's something for the revolution. Oh, nice. Thank you very much, Colonel Sanders. May you live up to the legacy handed down to you. Free super acid grenade. Outstanding. a baby. Johnny White, where is he tonight? I'm sleeping alone and he's gone to fight. Stubbs and Maxis. Stubbs is a piece of shit, and it took him a matter of seconds to sell Maxis out to that devil bot. He was eyeing Maxis's position for a few years before the revolution. 
He didn't get the popular vote even before folks found out how badly he treated his poor wife. They say Max has got out of town just in time. He's got friends here who are ready to help when the time comes. Then Stubbs will get his dues paid in full with interest. I'm happy to help with that after what he did to me. Sewage from the factory. Pour right into the slums. Nice. Humans, robots, family shits on everybody. They all need a reason to stand up and fight. All right, looks like our target is in here. Get that bot out of here. Hera, I have someone here you need to talk to. Uh, I don't care if it's Joan of Arc. That bot's not coming in. Oh, I'll come in any damn time I feel like it. Dix, Dix, Honey, calm down. Thistle, indigo. Oh, shut Shit. him down. <laughs> Stop doing that. Remember the mission. The great Barmadi. Maxis, he waited so long for you. Uh-oh. He thought you were dead. Good to see you, Hera. The wait is over. He has returned. Behold, the Alpha Editor. Uh, hello. Again. My stripes and stars. It is you. I... I mean... Is it? You haven't aged a day. It's me, Hera. It is. Oh, joyous day! Do you remember what you said to me? Sure I do. I... Listen, we're, we're looking for Maxis. What happened to him? You and the editors were exterminated. Maxis still rallied the people of the DRC to rise up and free themselves from the family's grip. That upset the family. They stripped did. Maxis of his powers and installed Diesel D as the new boss. Diesel abused his power. He segregated machines from humans. Maxis and his band of rebels escaped. Haven't seen them since. Listen, Maxis set up camp in the desert west of here. It's not likely he's alive, but miracles can happen. I'm looking at one. If you ever need sanctuary, I'm always here. We're turning Diggs back on. Damn. Blacked out again. It's okay, Diggs. We know where Maxis is. You might not be my family, Baamati, but Diggs is. He's my brother. No one messes with his head again, okay? Understood. <laughs> it's sweet how protective it's Elvis is, Diggs. Alright, so we need to head west into the desert. Where that now do you accept who you are no can't fake it neither Maxis will make you a true believer come we travel west is there a an exit on the west side of town or am I gonna have to because this is club 14 whoops where'd my quest marker go Tell me to come this way now. Whoop. What did I see? Pick up? Yes. Uh, we already talked to Cyber Mike. Behind this gate. So my feelings for Michael are a joke. Never give your heart to a casino machine. It's just a bar? A bar you. for robots? Damn it, mother! I wish you saw the real me. The inner me. The inner you. Like your server. Meat bags. These guys familiar with HK47? Hey, new robo! We need some more meat bags, so run down and get some. And make sure to close the door. 
We don't want to spoil the surprise, do we? I'm not sure the Fletchers would see the funny side of our little joke. I mean, we even put the code in the sign. Ascending order. Okay. I love Michael. Can't you see that? Billy Joe, you're designed to interface with his neural network. Look at this buggy. Do we get one of these? Man. Did I talk to this guy? TRS-80. Awesome. It's a very old computer. Major refuse removed. Sorry, I, I don't have refuse. You put in my gear shaft? No refuse? A slum boy like you? Come here. Give us your rubbish. <laughs> don't touch me. You want me to call the factory? Uh-oh. Have the collectors collect you, huh? Give me your junk. <sighs> they make collectors in that factory? Of course. Every collector from New York to sedentary is made in that factory. They say all that collector making is making the miasma angry. I don't think so. I think there's something even more evil being made in there. You can call the factory? Oh, sure. I can get an audience with Quendall Zen himself. Ha! Silly slum boy. No one's seen the first family for years. But they're in there, somewhere. Is the TRS-80 calling Elvis a silly slum boy or Quendall Zen? I'm not a slum boy. There's the oh, answer to that. Okay, <laughs> fleshy twit. You know, I thought I'd have a proper life after the revolution. We'd move you humans to the slums and take over the town. But here I am, poor, poor TRS-80. Where's my life, huh? At the bottom of a refuse bin. No you sympathy. didn't give me your refuse. Okay, let's, uh, let's continue this. Oh, keypad. Hmm. Uh, there was... This thing here, did I, was that a, a clue? If I go to the codex, and then the archive, and then come down here, all the way down here to meat bags. New robo, any more meat bags, run down, get some, make sure you, you close the door. Not sure the fleshers will see the funny side of our little joke. I mean, we even put the code in the sign, ascending order. Code in the sign. I'm guessing whatever this text is up here isn't a sign because it's not really legible. So there's this. Now with groovier stuffing. Ascending order. Two. Okay, wait. The green letters spell two. The blue letters spell four. Ascending order. Okay, so two, four. Uh, and there's red. It looks like there's letters that are dark, like a brighter red than the others. Like the I and W. The V and E and Groovier and the F, the first F and stuffing. So for five. So two, four, five. I'm guessing. I'm thinking. Two, four, five. Oh, yes. This is oh, sick. love that. Uh oh. We got, uh, got a robot in here with us. Oh my god. Is this... 
Is this a butcher? I think it might be. Uh, that's a pit. Yeah, that's definitely a butcher. No peeking at the meat. What were you expecting, girls? Today is my lucky day. All right, anti-acid power core. Hero is immune to acid damage. Very nice. Okay, so I'm guessing. This one really liked his cancer sticks. Guessing an, uh, enemies are going to be doing acid damage at some point. So, do we want to put that on somebody right now? Like him. I like him having this movement though because that helps with his tackle ability. Hmm. I think we'll just keep keep things as is until we see what we're faced with that does acid damage. Okay, well here we go into the deserts to the west to try to find Maxis. Hopefully he's an ally and not hasn't like descended into some kind of Mad Maxian hellscape that we're gonna have to fight through. The originals called the desert a place of divine revelation. Hope this Maxis guy is a real deal. You and him are friends, right? No, I betrayed Maxis. Oh, lovely. He hates me. Wait, what? Why? Yeah. It was a time of chaos. Oh. The family was hunting and killing the last of the editors. I was forced to choose. Either come to his aid and destroy the factory, or steal you from the tomb to hide you and raise you. His rebellion was crushed. We're walking into mm. the desert to meet a guy with an army who hates you? We'll walk into his camp with open hearts and inspire them to once again rise and fight. That's your plan? <laughs> I don't need a plan. I have an alpha editor. N? You said the first family did experiments on you. Made you old. Kept me young. Can we talk about something else? Jade, I've never met them. I don't even know what they look like. If I'm gonna fight them... Eight feet tall with antlers on their heads. Shit, really? What? No. Listen, the family lives way up there in the sky. They don't like getting their feet dirty. Focus on their factory. That's what's making the miasma angry. We have to destroy it. Robots taking over the town, telling humans what to do. Can you believe that shit? Coming from a time where humans tell robots what to do? Yeah, <laughs> it's about damn time. Uh, <laughs> you got me there. But that diesel guy, class A scumbag. Uh, I hear that. We should get rid of him. I bet the DRC would like that. Maybe you can talk some sense into him. Robot to robot. You think, I think we that got time a secret passed. handshake or something? Flesh or steel? An a-hole is an a-hole. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> not all robots are friends, just as not all humans are friends. The rebel east of here. East? I thought I was in the desert to the west. Terminal 5. Maxis should be close. Let's see if this gives us any kind of a vista. Oh wow. Wrecked. This is where sky whales go to die. Ye old airplane graveyard, except this used to be an airport. There's terminal uh, walkways here. What do we call those? Are they called skyways? Skyways.
keep an eye out for watchers. Seems like the kind of place one might be. Oh, look at that. Ask and ye shall receive. Whoa, what is this thing behind him? Wow. Elvis, we've been watching. You have become powerful. Don't feel powerful. Feel like I'm falling apart. When your fingers break and your feet bleed, you're almost there. Don't give up. Jeez. Push forward. There is one more watcher you need to meet. Okay. Can you tell me where they are? We're on the roof of some building. A monument to the originals. Sunk into the sand. Oh. They called it the airport. Ah, you thinking what I'm thinking, little brother? Loot? Loot. Oh? If I was some big time alpha editor, why didn't you tell me when I was young? One cannot be told who they are. They must discover it for themselves. So what if I got killed before I discovered it? <laughs> You're still alive. Good point. This proves your power. Feels like I died a few times. Damn, sweet loot. Oh, great. Varley crit rounds two increases weapon crit damage by 30. This improved critical round mod from Varl E's Kill the Poor division was, my god, allows for brutal damage with every successful hit. Guaranteed to take down any panhandlers, peddlers, or beggars in a matter of seconds or your money back. Okay, so who's got Varl E up uh, damage? This one, do ooh, the shotgun. I can make the shotgun even better. Uh, let's see, what does she have? Rage mod. Here we go. I think we're gonna put it on the ice gun. That'll allow us to uh, maybe to take down. Well, we'll see if there are any. This will make it 140 points. I think. Yeah. Crit damage would be 140 points, so I wonder if... Uh, maybe... Well, we'll see. We'll see what we're facing in here. Enemy-wise. Rageavik. Copenhagen, <laughs> Malmo. The originals rode skywells to these places? Psst, those aren't places. The screen is broken. They sound like magic places to me. They're not magic. They're real. Hard to believe, but there's a world outside of America. And I wonder if it has been affected by the miasma as well. Or if Europe is like a totally normal place. Let's talk to our robot friend here. This bot's been here a long time. Is he a TSA robot? Stand behind the yellow line! State your purpose. Before boarding your flight, your bags will be inspected for forbidden items. State your purpose? What did I say? No liquids more than 3.4 ounces in volume. <laughs> History accessed. Where do you work? John McLean International Airport, serving the Tri Valley region. Is there a sky whale? Nice diehard reference. Airplane still working here? No. My tracker indicates all flights have been canceled until further notice. That's strange. Why is the sky turning black? Where is everybody? Help! Help! Edison has banned the sale or consumption of meat within the airport. The Insect Cafe in Terminal 4 will satisfy your craving for animal protein. <laughs> Insect. Thanks for your service. 
Oh boy, okay. Let's see. Ooh, we hit the mother load here. Yeah, Major loot. Super Medipod, sweet. Overweight luggage. Overweight luggage. Triple ticket Wasn't price. They were scared of it. Whatever it is. <laughs> they were scared of it. Uh Super frag grenade. Wow, this is uh, worrisome that we're getting all these super things. Uh, oh. A bit of a secret area. Why can you not pick this up? There you go. All right, another KW inverter. We've got everything outfitted the way we want at the moment. All right, so who do we have over here? We've got... Uh, can't really tell. We'll have to get closer. Chaos. Worked at this airport for 15 years. Never seen chaos like this. People fighting to get on board. Small kids trampled. The crew too scared to deny the angry mob. Just letting anybody on. No checks, no nothing. Then the planes falling from the sky. All that suffering. All those lives lost. Okay, what? I'm guessing that's up here. Oh, it's in the other room, which I don't have access to at the moment. So let's sneak around. Glass bottle. Some plastic. All right, so we've got greasers. One, two, three, looks like four at least. Plus a tiny over there. Oh, baller. Those are ballers with the blue the blue eyes, the blue glasses. Defragger, two ballers, three ballers, a greaser, tiny, another baller. Wow, okay. Whew, okay, we're going to have to be... Uh, this is where we came in. Original Lee. A once bustling tavern. Now haunted with ghosts. Tiny find you, tiny crush you. Alright, Bob Mahdi, you're up. Let me handle this. Let's get you to plunk this greaser here. Expertly done. Luck is for fools. <laughs> what good did luck give them? Another robot? I think this old bot was a bartender. Good old Barbat, Barbot 3000. Our luck's gone, our eyes are red, but a diet of whiskey keeps us fed. Bars Hell yeah. Open. Is that your purpose? Flanagan's the name, proprietor of the finest airport tavern this side of the Mississippi. No guns allowed, gents. If you want to get locked and loaded, just order a shot. <laughs> You're here the great stability? Aye, we're living in it, aren't we? They say the great stability is a beautiful thing. But it doesn't compare to the face of a pretty Dublin girl. Yeah, 
history accessed. What was this airport like? A crossroads of the world, really. On any given day, you could meet anyone. Go anywhere. Where will you be flying today? We don't fly. We... run. Wait, the day I died, a storm broke the windows. Collapsed the... Everyone died. Slow down, old timer. That was a long time ago. Well, turn me I... off, will ya? In the end, we all have to go. And this place looks like the end. So, Edison, you want to know more about my makers? I suppose they want me to spout platitudes about caring and sharing and perfection. But between you and me, perfection is a benchmark no one can reach. The higher Edison builds their ladder, the bigger mess when it all comes crashing down. And it will come down. Ah, but what do I know? I'm a bartender. <laughs> Care for another round? Sleep well, old timer. I like Flanagan. I think he's my favorite. Favorite of the bots so far. Okay, so we've got a not quite Hertz rent a car. Got a baller here. Got a tiny coming my direction. to get yeah okay let's go this direction see if we can get into what I think were bathrooms around this side there we go all right so we need spy time we need digs for this Another super. Show me your faces. Oh, okay. Let's. Uh, it's not glowing. That's just orange. <laughs> Constant flight delays. Worst airport ever. I right, can't get on the other side of there yet. Oh boy. Oh, there's all kinds of dudes just everywhere. All right, so we want to get this baller. We can get him quietly with... Silent weapons. Uh, let's guarantee the hundred percent. And oh boy, if she doesn't get the critical hit, nope. All right, so. Diggs has to do 130 points, which he can't. Um, I need... Let's see. Oh, let's see. Elvis can't use his glove yet. Do I want to use a pod to give energy to Elvis and Bamadi then? Because I think this is gonna this is about to go down. So we've got a greaser here. Oh, 
darn, I should have... I should have waited until the tiny was over here, then I could have... I could have taken out that greaser, because they're low hit points. Uh, this trio over here... I could have stunned. Yeah, mistakes were made, y'all. Alright, so... These guys are gonna have to come through this direction, so as long as I keep this wall... in between... There's another greaser I could have gotten silently. Actually, no, I couldn't have. Because I couldn't get over here. Okay, let's see. Right, let's put him where he can get 100%. Which is right here. So I've got to do 80 more points of damage. It's too bad that glove is not going to work. Okay, so if I go with... Energy. I'll have to move. Because I'm not close enough. So if I put him here, he'll be behind heavy cover. And then we go energy. Actually, maybe I do energy next turn. Because we want to shoot this guy, otherwise he's going to do damage to us. So can we get a bounce on him that'll, that'll give us a good chance to get a... Uh, critical hit on him. So there's 70% to hit. Okay. okay, so now we've got an extra point of uh, action because we did that in a crit. So now we can do our super energy cell and Boost our power. Don't need to thank me. Thank you, Elvis. Just what I need. Uh, unfortunately, Diggs is out in the middle, so. Wow. Whoa, they run far. Oh my goodness. Make peace with the cloud. Are they snipers? Oh boy. Whoa. My system's shutting down. Okay, we might be about to lose digs here. <laughs> oh, there are just dozens of dudes over here. Not dozens, but it's just way too many for us to be able to deal with, I think. Alright, so... These guys aren't a concern right now. Uh, we do need to get digs up. Um, we can, I think... Use... Alright, here. how are we going to do this? Alright, let's get Elvis... To let's get Elvis to here. The defragger. If I grab the defragger, will he heal? Can I use him to heal me? Or at least digs? That would be interesting. Okay, let's let's try this. And plus, because he's got a lot of hit points, so. Uh, let's see, the radius from Elvis is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, it looks like. So if I put him here, one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven. I won't be able to get the defragger, so I've got to put him in a somewhat dangerous position. Oh boy. Yeah, I've got to put him in a really dangerous position, actually. Although if I put him here and I get Diggs up, Diggs becomes heavy cover, so... Okay, so there's that. Let's grab... Oh, come on, really? Alright. Alright, well, we're grabbing Tiny then. Excuse me. Tiny's gonna help Can us I out. And hopefully we can use him also to uh, draw fire. And because he's got so many hit points... Uh, let's see. If we... What are his abilities here? Just melee or ground pound? So ground pound will hit multiple enemies at once. So we're just going to melee... The defragger here. All right, Bamadi, let's get you uh, to here, I'm thinking. Oh, we need you to re... Erg. You gotta reload the ice gun, too. Okay, I can't do electroshock yet. All right, so let's just reload the ice gun. And can we actually shoot the defragger from here? No, too far. We could with that. That's a bad shot, though. All right, let's move her into this uh, cover over here instead. Oh, no, I need to get Elvis up. That's right. Or not Elvis, Diggs. Rats. So we need a Medipod. You're alive. Thank you. Okay. I'm now would have been a good time. Uh, Elvis, you're supposed to be using him as heavy cover, buddy. Uh, okay. So digs now. Let's see. The wide boy shotgun. He can hit the defragger. See, we're just a couple of tiles short from being able to hit the greaser, except I don't want to put him into a position to get hit again with these guys, so. Man. Alright, maybe we just go with the assault. And we nail the defragger some more. There we go. Oh, rats. Not good. Keep going after Tiny. He's big and scary. There we go. Yeah, just just keep doing that. Absolutely. All right, this is not going to be good because now there's just going to be way too many dudes. Although, if they're going to keep rats, oh no! All right, definitely need the frogger. Call the frogger now. Call the grabber. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. And I guess we'll put him here. Because he will, I think, heal the 
the most damaged enemy or uh, ally, so he should go for digs. And now we'll go with another shot at the defragger. Mm, that's not a great one, though. Maybe we want to move Bamadi now. Uh, can't use balance yet. Maybe I just put her here. Oh, that's right. I've got, uh, I've got Call of the Grabber as a free. Oh, nice. Okay, so that'll give me a little bit better shot on the defragger. Hopefully, this will connect. Ooh, wait. Actually, I'm close enough for the ice gun. That's a better shot. There we go. Nice. All right, Elvis. Um, we need to put you behind this cover here. Switch you to the dynamo. And I'm thinking Overwatch here. Digs. Uh, we could do. We could do a shotgun blast. If I move him back. Actually, no. Maybe. I mean, it's. This is cover sucks, but. I wonder if this shot will destroy what it, this uh, cabinet here, because it's highlighted blue. So maybe it'll destroy that, and that'll this will then become heavy cover on two sides. Uh, this isn't going to hit uh, damage tiny unless it's a crit. So that's kind. Maybe I don't want to. Here, let's try this. Um. What if... Supersonic Destruction Wave. So if I move him to here... Yeah, these guys are adjacent, so... Let's put him here and then do Ground Pound. See what this does. Oh, there we go. Does that knock these two guys out? Okay, so explosion damage, knockback, does not knock them out, though. It just pushes them backwards. But he's right here, though, so hopefully these two will start shooting at him. Although uh, we're actually losing control of him right now, so uh, they might not. He'll be an ally for them again. <sighs> okay, we need to reload. And... Disappointed that we didn't take out that defragger yet. That's been a lot of. Oh my god. Okay, good. So he's still considered my ally for the rest of this turn. And they're all targeting him. Perfect. Oh. Lame.